Ministry affirms that the report submitted by the United Nations Secretary General's representative for children in armed conflicts constitutes a blatant divergence from neutrality and credibility. Syrian military units continue to chase armed terrorist groups targeting terrorist dens in various areas. Support rallies for the Syrian army and its battle against terrorism continue across the country. The Minister of Social Affairs stresses keenness on meeting the needs of displaced and affected families due to practices of armed terrorist groups. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian North Television in Damascus. Syria's permanent representative of the United Nations in Geneva, Faisal al-Hamwi, dismissed some of the paragraphs of the report submitted by the United Nations Secretary General's representative for children and armed conflict as a blatant divergence from neutrality and credibility. Delivering Syria's statement at the United Nations meeting of Children's Fund, UNICEF, on the International Humanitarian Initiative for Children Care, al Hamu affirmed that the Syrian government has closely cooperated with the UNICEF since the beginning of the crisis and facilitated its relief missions and humanitarian mandate. The Syrian representative also slammed the report for overlooking the grave violations against Syrian children in the camps in neighboring countries, most importantly, the attempts attributing them to fight in Syria by a number of Takfiri and terrorist organizations. Russian President Vladimir Putin discusses with his U.S. counterpart Barack Obama on phone the crisis in Syria, the situation in Ukraine and Iran's nuclear program. The Kremlin official website said that Putin and Obama exchanged ideas on the process of implementing agreements on the elimination of chemical weapons in Syria, Iran's nuclear program and the situation in Ukraine. It also added that the two presidents discussed talks for solving the crisis in Syria. Both sides affirmed that in light of Geneva talks, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and United Nation, in the United States excuse me, Secretary of State John Kerry will have firm cooperation to move the solution of the crisis in Syria for words. Earlier Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Alexander Lukashevich stressed that Syria is fully committed to carry out its commitments on the elimination of chemical weapons. A unit of the Syrian Armed Forces destroyed a terrorist warehouse for ammunition and weapons and eliminated 15 terrorists in Tel Daw in Al Hula area, Homs countryside. The source said that another army unit destroyed terrorist hideouts, weapons, warehouses, and three cars equipped with heavy machine guns, killing and wounding a number of terrorists in Kafar Laha. The source added that an army unit destroyed a number of cars with all the terrorists and weapons inside them in the villages of Abu Hawadid, Um Sharij, and Al Abijarah. Syrian army units continue to chase the armed terrorist groups in Al Heja village in Dara countryside, killing and wounding scores of terrorists. Army units also repelled armed terrorist groups that tried to infiltrate from the Jordanian borders. A number of terrorists were killed during the operation. Residents across Syria poured into the streets, sending out a clear message of support for their army in face of terrorism that has pl plagued the country. An unshakable allegiance to the national firm principles. Uh, citizens of Adwera, Damascus countryside, took to the streets in support of the national stances and the Syrian Arab army which confronts terrorism. Hundreds of people from the towns of Hazrama in Duma countryside in Damascus.
also contributes to, to the streets and condemnation of the acts of the armed terrorist groups, demanding the exit of all terrorists from the area. A massive popular gathering also took place in Saldat town in the countryside of Homs, during which the participants expressed their firm adherence to the national principles and unshakable support for the Syrian army in its operations against the armed terrorist groups. Social Affairs Minister Dr. Kinda Shamat stressed keenness on meeting the needs of displaced and affected families due to the practices of armed terrorist groups. Al Shamat, who presided over a meeting to discuss the relief situation in Aleppo, indicated that unifying efforts and conducting a consensus of the displaced and affected families within 10 days is required. She called for sticking to the defined course of action, instructing an immediate provision of 10,000 boxes of canned food to Aleppo, Governor Ray referring to the Taj blockade that Aleppo has suffered by terrorists hailing the steadfastness of its people in confrontation of terrorism. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region, and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, www.syrianonline.sy. Now to the latest in business and market news with Nariman Qassam, but after a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. New exhibition for Sundas Company was opened by the Minister of Interior Trade in Al Hariqa Street of Damascus. The minister emphasized that this company plays a great role in intervening positively in the Syrian market, in addition to competing with the private sector and meeting all the people's demand. In Hama, the manager of Silas stressed that the company is about to establish a new silo in Mardas area of Hama with a storage capacity of about 106,000 tons per year among its plan this year. According to the manager, the total of the expected storage capacity till the end of the year 2014 may reach 3,650,000 tons. In the Ministry of Agriculture, the manager of forests asserted that the areas cultivated with forest trees by the agricultural directories reached 582 hectares in Qunaitra, Sueda, Homs, Al Ghab, Latakia, and Tartus. He added that work continues for completing the planned area, underlining the sorry, underlining the insistence of the concerned bodies on rehabilitating the impacted areas, while the administration is serious in keeping the variety, as Syria has 3,000 kinds in addition to 31 natural reserves. The Minister of Agriculture approved extending the fertilizers distribution on farmers in order to cultivate winter crops and vegetables till the coming March. The extending decision came in favor of most farmers in importing fertilizers and alleviating the problems that face the transportation from stores to farms. Statements showed that incomes in both China and India of Iranian oil were high during January, after the U.S. State Department decided to renew the sanctions exemption to another six months for China, India, South Korea and other countries, noting that the Chinese daily income of the Iranian oil rose 82 percent during January, according to the Chinese customs data today. Gold prices rose registering the third weekly gain, whereas gold was supported by data that the home sales dropped more than the expected in 18 months. According to some analysts, the reason behind this decline was mainly the weather conditions. Ladies and gentlemen, this was our economic news for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.